Hello, welcome to a new episode in the FLTK REST series. In this episode, we'll be looking at a new crate, the FLTK Evented crate, which basically gives us a listener widget, uh, which basically can wrap any FLTK widget, uh, which impl any widget which implements widget base and widget text, uh, and provides an event interface. So, uh, I have uh, an FLTK application here. I've just added FLTK uh, version 1.2.10 with the feature FLTK bundled. Uh, I ran the build as well. So, this works. Let's just create a simple application, for example. And we want to handle uh, hover and leave, for example. <coughs> So we just create our window and call when end and when show dap run unwrap. So let's add for example a button here. So this is our button, we want to handle uh, hovering events, for example. So let's just add a trigger at the moment, uh, callback, so button set callback. So this works. Previously, if you wanted to uh, to handle hovering, for example, over a button, you would need to basically handle the event itself in the handle method. So it would be something like handle, which takes the button and an event, and you would match the events, returning true when something is handled and false when something is not handled. So. <coughs> so hovering is handled uh, as the enter event and leave is when you leave the uh, the button itself and for everything else you would return just false I can see in just a moment. Sorry, that was the doorbell. So with the uh, FLTK Vented Crate, which we'll just uh, import here, it's at version 0 0.1. We have a listener widget. And which we can just instantiate listener. So this is just a listener on the button itself, and we can use the from uh, implementation using just into. Let's see if this works. Okay, so this compiles. So now instead of having to call the handle and matching in uh, every event, we can just call button on hover, which takes the button itself, 
if we need to. You can also move anything into the closure. Just say here. And here, it's on leave. So basically get the same effect without having to uh, basically uh, match over every event returning true or false. So let's do something more interesting. So let's uh, add some colors for example. Just import the enums. And for our button, that box, and let's give it a color, for example. Okay, so we need to change the selection color. Darker. Okay. Maybe a bit more darker. You can see that FLTK contrasts the color automatically, makes it white for the text itself or the label. And let's say, for example, uh, here we want to change the color to become lighter on hover. So here, make it uh, and on leave, we'll just return the same as before. Okay, so the color is changing a bit. Let's make it lighter more uh, here. Okay, so this is more apparent. This is a bit dark, so we'll just make this uh, less dark. Okay, however the uh, text color isn't changing now, so let's handle that for example. So let's say um, So on push Set the label color To white And let's handle our callback here for example Effect and we'll have to set it back to black when we leave so or when the button is released so when release this becomes black okay so this is on click so we get the hovering effect we click, this becomes white. Okay. And as I said, you can move anything into the closures, for example, you can move the window.
so this should be released. So we get our hovering, our callback, and release. So that was basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and uh, you can find use uh, for FLTK Vented. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.